Hi guys, it's Lee Loves Makeup at Merle Norman Day Spot in Washington, Illinois. Today I'm gonna to go over some ear piercing aftercare guidelines. So right after you get your ears pierced, sometimes our little ones tend to somehow take the post and get it on too tight. So right now it's in a lock position. So it hides the point, which is what we want. We do not wanna get poked by the earring and it lets the air flow get in there so it can heal properly. So if for some reason your little one or you get that pokey part sticking out way too much, just pull it until you feel it click. That helps get it back in the lock position. It also enables again for that airflow to get in there properly as your ear heals because all that moisture builds up, bacteria builds up. So we wanna keep it as loosey goosey as possible is what I like to tell them. If it feels too tight, it's usually because the post is on too tight. Or sometimes I get parents that call in, in a tizzy, um, they're wondering why their child's earring is so like stuck in their ear. It's usually because that's happened. So I just tell them pull it until you feel it click. If the back comes off for some reason, no big deal. You can just put it right back on just a little bit like that and you can actually hear it click that little tiny click. Now, as far as cleaning goes, um, aftercare solution. I like to use the Studex brand of aftercare solution. There's a lot of other really good brands out there. If you don't have the actual ear piercing solution that we sell here, you can use a saline solution, or if you're in a real pickle and let's say your child's dumped the bottle out, which has happened numerous times throughout the years here, you can make your own little saline solution. I like to just take like a medicine cup, like for child's medicine, and put some water in it and a few shakes of salt and spin it up real quick, and you can use that to clean the ear. Now, for years, I've always said to parents, to use a Q-tip to go around with that cleanser. It helps get in the nooks and crannies. You just wanna make sure there's no cotton fibers left. It is a little bit trickier to use a napkin, but napkins are really nice because they don't leave those cotton fibers behind that could get tangled up around the earring post. So if you're using Q-tips or cotton balls, be careful for the fibers. We don't want those tangling around, just like we don't want the hair wrapping around the earring post, causing more irritation, especially as your ears are healing up from all the trauma that they just went through. So typically you leave the earrings in for six weeks to allow them to heal. You clean them twice a day. I like to tell them morning and night. Hopefully that's when they brush their teeth, if you can get your child to brush their teeth. That's, that's what I tell most parents because I've been there. I'm like, did you, are you sure you brushed your teeth today? You're supposed to brush your teeth this morning. That's disgusting. So morning and night is a good rule of thumb. Brush them and clean them at the same time. And spin them in circles with clean fingers throughout the day just to keep them, again, loosey-goosey so they don't get stuck. I like to tell the kids, basically, your ear is just going to try to grab hold tight and eat that earring and we want to keep it loosey-goosey so it doesn't get too much of a hold on it. Now after that six weeks is up it's very important to try to keep something in the ear anyway because ears are constantly closing back up. The skin is very quick to close over that and I continually have to re-pierce. I've been doing this for I don't even know how many years now seven or eight years and I cannot believe how quickly some people's bodies heal up after a piercing. So make sure you keep something in there regularly. Clean them twice a day for six weeks and turn them in circles when you think about it. After that everything should be good. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you're wondering what lipstick I have on, I have on Peruvian bronze. I'm just saying that because sometimes I make these videos and if I don't mention what colors I have on, people ask me. So I've got some bronzing powder and some Real Rose blush on. I've got our Knockout Nudes palette and our Peacock eyeliner and our Fat Lash mascara. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.